going no contact with narcissists does not have to be a punishment. It can simply be you valuing and maximizing your time. Why? Because your time is the most precious thing that you have in this life. Whatever you spend your time on, it's gone. You're not getting it back. And this needs to become more important than any narcissist in your life. Let's talk about how to value your time. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Before I continue and let you know that I'm here for your support, down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one appointments to help you heal from narcissistic abuse. In addition to that, I do have a brand new group coaching program that's going to be rolled out next week. It's in beta testing right now with a small group of people, and we are in it healing and motivating each other, encouraging each other, and I can't wait to roll this out to all of you in about a week. So stay tuned for that. Now we're talking about going no contact simply because you value your time. And after all, your time deserves to be valued. It's the most precious thing that you have in this life. It's the only thing that you give out and you can never get back. Anything else in this world, anything that you can possess in this world and give out, you can get more of. You can give out money and get more money. You can give out food and get more food. You can give out a house, get another house. You can give out a car, you can get another car. You can give out family members and get more family members. Jesus made this point perfectly clear in the New Testament of the Bible. He said, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And he looked at his disciples and he said, this is my mother and my brother and my sister. and This is my new family. My family's been replaced. They're replaceable. Everything is replaceable except for one thing, your time. Did you know that? Have you thought about that? Unfortunately, many of us don't think about this until later on in life. We look back at our life and say, what in the world do we do with our time? Well, I hope we had a good time because that's all it was. And we feel stuck. So let's no longer feel stuck. Let's go no contact and cut free of the unhealthy connections and bondage and soul ties with narcissists and toxicity that we have in our life simply because we want to value whatever time we have left. How many of you are with me? Your time is that important because we're all only going one way and that's towards having less time. All right. So what does it look like when you maximize and you appreciate and you value your time? It looks like this. You invest your time not in narcissistic relationships, arguing and fighting and and trying to compete and control one another and whatever nonsense. That's not valuing and honoring time. It looks like you only engaging in things that are mutually rewarding, things that are beneficial for you, things that are healthy for you. Right now, you're using your time to watch this video, to watch me talk. But why? Because I'm pouring into you. I'm passionately pouring understanding and hopefully I'm motivating and inspiring you. That's a good use of your time. You're receiving something. You're receiving something beneficial for yourself. You spend your time going to work, but you spend your time working so that you can receive a paycheck, so that you can survive. That's beneficial for you. That's a good use of your time. You spend your time going to the gym, working out, which gets you strong, gets you healthier. That's a good use of your time. Some of you have good relationships with people where you can sit and talk and whatever and and cry together, laugh together. Good use of your time. It's important that we understand that your time is meant to give in exchange for something, not to give out and exhaust it and lose it. We should be spending every moment of our time engaging in ways that are mutually beneficial only. Even, you know, reading books can be a good way to use your time because you're absorbing. Now, narcissists come into the picture. The world of narcissism is that of grandiosity. Narcissists want to steal your time. How many of you are aware of that by now? Narcissists want to take your time. They want to rob you of your free time. Narcissists become insanely jealous at the idea and the thought that you have time and they want it. It's unlike any, it's, it's, it's not like anything I've ever seen before, but they do. If narcissists, if you're with a narcissist and they see you enjoying your time with somebody else or enjoying your time in a hobby or enjoying your time watching something, how many of you have experienced a narcissist trying to ruin that for you? simply to try to get your attention. They'll use an argument or a fight to lure you away from how you're enjoying your time so they can steal your time. 
They don't want to give you anything beneficial. They don't want to help you in any way. They don't want to have anything mutually engaging. They simply want to steal your time. And how do narcissists do it, by the way? Narcissists do it by threats. Narcissists do it by getting you to believe that if you don't give them your time, then you are guilty of being selfish, of thinking you're better than everybody else. These are tactics that narcissists use to steal your time. And now watch what happens. Instead of you spending your time on what you want to, you start spending your time on what you don't want to spend your time on simply out of fear. Because you're afraid to be called selfish. You're afraid to be called judgmental. You're afraid to of the thought of you thinking you're better than everybody else. And so you give in to the narcissist and you waste more time with them, serving them. And it's a waste of time because you're not getting anything. Running away from feeling selfish is not a benefit. Running away from them telling you that you think you're better than everybody else is not a benefit to you. But they've convinced you that it is. And that's sad. So narcissists have, instead of allowing you to spend your time in something that's really healthy and what you really want, They've convinced you now in order to not feel guilty and not feel ashamed, then you better do what they say. And so now you're stuck. That's how narcissists steal people's time. And they waste your time. Sometimes narcissists steal your time by enforcing, by making you feel you have to do things. This is your family. So you have to be a part of this party. This is your mother. This is your father. It's demanding your time. It's their selfish need to demand your time, the most precious thing that you have. And they do it because they don't know what to do with their time. They spend their time trying to control your time. And they do it all the time. I challenge somebody to watch this video and count all the times that I say time. Tally it. Put it down below. I'll think of a reward to give you if you can tally all the times that I say time in this video. How about it? I'll give you a free appointment. (laughs) All right. I'm going to watch and count the times I say time just to let you know. But if you get it, I will give you a free appointment. Okay. So we need to learn how to value our time so that we are no longer wasting time with narcissists. Instead, we're spending time doing the things we want. Now, watch this. If we get this right mentality about time, then we'll no longer look at no contact as being a punishment. We'll no longer do it out of anger. We'll no longer do it out of trying to pay back narcissistic family members. We'll understand that they live their existence trying to rob people of their times, and we won't be mad at them because that's what they do with their time. Instead, we are going to decide, you know what? I'm going no contact because I value my time that much. Because I don't know how much time I have left, and there's things I want to do. There's lessons I want to learn. There's places I want to go. There's things I'd like to try. How many of you feel like you've lost yourselves coming out of narcissistic abuse? I can tell you right now, the way to get yourself back is to first start to value your time again. And take step by step and day by day inch by inch, moving towards the things that you would like to do for yourself that becomes mutually beneficial for you and for other people. That is a good use of your time. Start valuing your time and you'll start to heal. Start valuing your time and you won't want anything to do with narcissistic people because you'll look at it as a complete waste of time. And it it won't be out of anger. It won't be out of trying to punish anybody. It'll simply be That is a waste of time. Those narcissistic family members are a waste of my time. Those narcissistic people are a waste of my time. Those narcissistic coworkers are a waste of time. I only go to work. I don't need to waste my time. I hope that this is resonating with some of you. Some of you need to get a different understanding of no contact and know why you're doing it. You're doing it so that you no longer waste your time. All right? I am here for your support down in the description box. You'll find access for one-on-one appointments. In addition to that, I am rolling out a brand new group 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 coaching program. It's going to be rolled out next week. It's in beta testing right now with a small group, and it's going fantastic. You're not going to be able to afford to miss the Royal Week group coaching. And so I'm really excited about rolling that out to all of you. And I hope you all join in the group coaching. I really do. It is going to be a great time. It's going to be live discussions with me every single day. In addition to that, breakout groups at the end of each week. I'm excited about it, if you can't tell. Until then, I'm going to invite you to watch this video right here. Now, this video right here has been 
carefully selected for you by the YouTube algorithms because YouTube watches what you watch. I don't know exactly what you watch outside of this, but YouTube does. And so it recommends this video for you. So I think it's worth you giving a shot, right? I think that'd be a good use of your time. Look, I said time one more time. I don't know if I'm going to say it another time. All right. So for those of you who are counting, listen, I'll be back with more videos for you. Watch this video right now and I'll be back next time right here on the Royal Week.